Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a page in Canvas and record a video of yourself to better explain some instructions or to teach a lesson um, with you having a video of yourself on screen. A couple of tips I've learned just over the last several weeks of putting a video of myself on screen for the students is to just kind of look over your appearance before you put yourself out there. Maybe put on a stick of lipstick and check out your shirt. Make sure you're clean. Um, make sure you're dressed kind of like you would be at school. Look at your background. Make sure that pile of laundry is not behind you. And kind of tell your kids to be quiet, your own, your own children. Um, I sequester them in their bedrooms or send them outside or something. Or at least ask them not to slam the cabinet doors while I'm doing this. It's just a little pointer there for you. Um, okay, so you're going to start out on your modules page like you normally would. Uh, and then go and you're going to start a page or you may already have a page ready. Uh, I'm going to start out just a blank page. Um, so I'm in this clever module. I'm just going to roll with that. So let's start out a blank page. And I'm just going to name this page example because that's what I'm doing here for you. So I'm making an example. And remember, you always have to publish your pages. If you don't publish your page, your kids are not going to be able to see whatever it is you're doing. Um, and in order to get into your pages, you know, you cannot click on this blue section. They're not going to be, you're not going to be able to click on anything to get in your page. You always have to click the words. So click your page. And... You're not going to be able to type in here, so you have to click Edit. And whenever you get to your empty page, you always have these really great commands that will edit your text and stuff like that. And this is where you're going to be able to type your information. So all along, you have been able to type your instructions up here. Here are my instructions. and you've probably given your students their instructions. Um, and you know, some of our kids are great readers and some of our kids need better help. And just like in regular class, we read our instructions to our students to help them better understand. And as you know, a lot of them do better just hearing it from our words, hearing it from our mouth. Um, and they understand it better when we can explain it face to face. Well. Here's your chance to either read the instructions you have on your page or just go more in depth with what you can teach uh, using face-to-face -face instruction. So um, here are your instructions of how to make a video. Y'all, it's so much easier than you think it's going to be. You're going to use the same kind of commands that you have up here. Here's ways to make things bold, italics, underlined. Well, look, you have a command right here, record, upload, media. You see this right here. It looks almost like a little television with a triangle, kind of like a play button. So click this button. This box is gonna come up. You have to click, I'm sorry, you hear my dog fighting a cat in the background. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my reality. Then you have to click the allow button. Hey, there I am. Now it's not gonna start on its own. You have to click start recording before it starts. Notice my lighting is not the best. You may wanna look at that at your own house. All right, then you click start recording. And now it's recording. So you can say what it is that you wanna to say to your students. Hey students, this is your a uh, favorite teacher here to give you instructions. Blah, dee, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to explain your assignment to you. La, 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 la. And then when you're done with your recording, let's say that something happened like your dog and cat got in a huge fight in the background with your child screaming. And if you're not happy with your recording, then you've got to start over right here and you can start over completely. Or if you're happy with it, then you click finish. 
And when you click finish, then right here, you name it. So I'm gonna name it how to uh, make a video. You can name yours, um, let's see, cells or bacteria or whatever it is that you are teaching. So click save. And it may take a pretty second for it to save. And then when it gets right here, it's gonna look ugly for a minute. Don't worry about that, it'll look pretty in just a second. We're gonna click save right here. And would you look at that? You've now made a page of a video of yourself. I'm gonna just show it to you. All right, so when you click it immediately, it's saying that it is converting, no big deal. It's just like anything else when you are uploading a large file, it takes a second for it to upload. Um, so you're just gonna have to give it a minute for it to upload, no big deal. Let's see if it's ready now. No, it's not ready yet, but I promise you that once you get it uploaded and give it some time, it will work for you. I hope this helped you. Um, if you go to my YouTube page, you will find that there are other um, examples that might help you with your Canvas pages. And if you wanna forward any of this to anybody, feel free to, and hopefully it will help them.